the, uh, the notch in front. You don't want it behind because you can't see behind the spindle. You hear the sound change? So I, I broke through the, there's a sheen that happens, you compress the wood. So now I'm getting friction. That's that's easier than the than the hand drill. It has its it has its drawbacks. Things like smoke or you know, so. you need tinder. Otherwise, it's like kissing a jackhammer, right? So always pick the straightest spindle possible. You were right about the hole once you get it moving. Like I felt like I wasn't able to pull it. Right. It's, like it I feels. It, you have to get into the rhythm. It feels yeah. more natural. I don't think there's anything back there that'll that can kill them. So no, there. Be, okay. <laughs> now the reason why, and I should explain this, the reason why the hickory or, or something a little thicker is preferred is because it won't bend in the middle. But when you get something that's a little bendy, try to keep it near the bottom. toggle drill is that if you don't have someone to hold the base for you, the base is just going to go flying back and forth. Yeah, that or if you have a spindle that's long enough, you could, you could step on it. Uh -huh. So um, you could do it that way. And, uh, but otherwise, you're, you risk the base moving all over the place, but what you would do is, if you had to do it that way, is you would pin, pin your base into the ground so it doesn't move. So, but the, here's the thing with the bow, if you use a bow, you now have one hand free, because you had two, two, two hands being used. Now you have one hand free, so now you can just hold the, hold the base. I don't know if this one's going to work. Okay. I'm going to give you the idea so we can move on to other things. Because I will always run out of things to to show. I mean, I will always run out of time before I run out of things to show.
So no, it's, no. as you go up in devices, technically everything should be easier. Soto is basically a giant yucca. These are this is soto. This is a section of soto. There's a piece of soto. That's soto. That's soto. These are soto. And this branch is uh, soto. And what you do is you carve it into this. Is this. You carve it into a blade type shape. Eat that brings you the cool stuff, starting fires and planting vines and stuff. <laughs> no. So you learn the right way to do it. You go into scouts, you could do that too. Okay. Let you get your feet all muddy. <laughs> Get as dirty as you want at Uncle Joe's place. <laughs> so you you could start a groove either with a stick or, or something to just get get something to get it to just fall into place on the and the thing about fire plow is it has to be a really, really soft wood. Really soft. So and what your plow. What your what your both the the base oh, oh, oh. and the and the blade. It's uh, preferable if they're the same wood, then you know what you're working with. But so is basically like a giant yucca. So you could do it with yucca too. These are sections of yucca. If your base and you've seen there's some yuccas where the base is like really like over an inch. So you could use from one giant stalk of yucca, you have a base and a blade. So mate the blade and the base, get it warmed up, I'm just warming it up, starting to smoke. So now I'm going to push dust into a pile in front of it, hopefully I'm not going to destroy the pile. You don't think it could work, but there it is. There's one there, there's one there, there's one on the side, there's one there. So, you know, it's like, it, like it throws up, it hurls chunks. In. Just warm it up, yeah, and then just go to town. There you go. Push it forward. Think about pushing. Pushing it forward. I think that's got it. Yeah, all wow. right. Yeah. Yay. That's nice. yeah. Yay. <coughs> and you don't really. chest and they just they spin it like a carpenter's pen. Oh, basically like a carpenter's pen. So uh, I'm sure they have a, uh, a chest plate which they would do this on because obviously they're going to drink it, drill it to their breastbone or their hand, either one. Now the trick to this is though is that it's very hard to find a perfect crooked stick that's not only the wood that you're looking for, but it's not going to give out because the pressure doesn't go straight down. It goes out to the side. It's not going to 
crack out on you. So, um, but here's, this is the only drill that I know that breaks the law, not, I don't know if it's a law, but it's a guideline, to go back and forth. This one literally goes in one direction, just like a carpenter's bit. So, um, the way I've done this in the past is... So, so, this is really just patience. So here, you're, you're actually gonna get back to me. Now you can cheat on this one, in that when you get too tired with one arm, you switch arms. So you can. So basically, you just keep going until. But we're gonna. We're going to help you out, too. I'm going to fill that hodge, too, a little bit. <coughs> okay. And you just keep it going. Sound change, now he has real friction. Sometimes that happens with Bojo, right? You'll hear all the squeaking. You have to break through the sheen. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now I would have sworn years ago that to do it in a, in one direction will never work. I thought it broke some kind of law in nature. But that's bad got it. But then I saw I saw somebody do it and I'm like, well, that's I'm wrong. Yep. So we're going to carefully not drop this on my foot. Take that off. And we're going to unscrew your In nature, you're going to unscrew your base. <laughs> Less of an offset. Uh, you know, I didn't feel like. It. Oh. Did we even see that? The trick is just getting it started. Started. Yeah. Maybe Did just take some. Into a rhythm. I was going to say, it might be too heavy. Yeah. Less space to work with on my side. Yeah, keep going. Oh, wow. All right, keep going, keep going. Okay, so the, the spindle is a cedar fence post, but the, the reload is a soda, is a two and a half inch diameter soda. What's that going to be, about two and a half, three times? How many times is that going Okay. That's a good question. Maybe at least three. Okay, okay. That's what I heard in the smoke.